Thomas Hammersmith, seen here as the Odeon on August the 23rd, 1973, was an enormous theatre, with an equally vast frontage of 190 feet and nine entrances, in a bold segmental curve stopped by two brick pillars at either end. This cinema is situated on one of the most prominent suburban sites in London. Architect Robert Cromie ran the building round a corner, yet retained unity in the total facade. The site dictated the final shape of the plans. It was symmetrical and fan-shaped in outline, with all the side walls radiating from a central point behind the stage. The outer lobby has remained remarkably unchanged in 1973 compared with when it first opened on the 28th of March 1932. The same might well be said of the main foyer, except for the removal of the greenery and the addition of a sales counter. The main entrance to the stalls was superbly decorated in an elegant manner, whilst the main staircase to the circle was equally impressive. Behind the colonnaded front to the first floor, the restaurant overlooked the main foyer. It extended the full 83-foot length of the entrance, and it also has remained almost intact. The interior is vast and has a seating capacity of 3,487. The circle covers an enormous area, Yet all the seats were comfortably spaced, and each had an excellent view of the screen. Projection was from the rim of the dome in the ceiling. When it opened in 1932, the Gaumont Palace was claimed to be the last word in modern architecture. The decorations are strongly art decor in inspiration and are consistently and successfully developed. The advantages of the fan-shaped auditorium are clearly indicated. The width at the rear of the auditorium was nearly 170 feet, converging towards the proscenium of 64 feet. All attention was thus focused directly onto the screen. The fan shape also created an impression of spaciousness that was not in the least diminished by the vast cantilevered balcony which held 2,000 people. The opening films at the Gaumont were the comedy, A Night Like This, starring Tom Walls, Ralph Lynn and Winifred Schotter, and the thriller, Bad Company. On the stage, a review was presented with 80 performers, including the luscious Gaumont girls. The Gaumont Palace Symphony Orchestra made certain that the musical feast was to everyone's taste, and at the Compton organ sat Mr. Leslie James. Undoubtedly, the masterpiece of Robert Cromie's 30s work, the Gaumont Palace, now Odeon, is almost completely hidden by the Hammersmith Road flyover. The Davis brothers, who sold their pavilion circuit to Gaumont British in 1927, engaged Robert Cromie to design the Davis Theatre in Croydon. Their Hammersmith project was renamed Gaumont Palace in course of construction. The cinema is a regular venue for rock music concerts.